Hey there, this is Todd with Industrial Comfort. And today's the Boston edition, where out of respect for the local New England lobstermen, I'm going to show you how to make one of these vintage style decorative lobster buoys from a piece of 4x4. Four four. I'm also doing it for my father-in-law, who is a fellow Bostonian, can't pronounce his eyes. So I just thought it would be a lot easier for him to be able to watch this. So let me show you how to make one of these things. Start by measuring off a 10 inch piece from your 4x4. Four four. Now mark 3 inches down from the top and draw a line all the way around. Up at the top here, you want to measure in an inch and a quarter from each side and then draw a line from one end to the other to create an inch long rectangle across the center of the top. You'll now want to make a line from that rectangle you just drew up top down to the line that you drew 3 inches down from the top a little bit earlier. This is going to create the angle of the top of the buoy. Now you're just going to want to make a cut along that line you just made. Now it's a little hard to see here in this video, but essentially you want to measure an inch in from either side and then do the same thing that you did in the last section, which is draw a line from the inch and a half rectangle that you just created on the top down to the three inch line again and this will give you the profile of the top of the buoy. Like last time, cut along the lines that you just drew. At the top of the buoy, you want to choose a location you're comfortable with and use a Forstner bit, or you could really use a paddle bit, whatever you want. Drill an inch in diameter hole through the top here, which you're going to use to feed your rope later. Now comes my least favorite part of this project, which is painting. I, don't, I just don't like to paint, but you're gonna paint this, whatever color you choose here is gonna be your base. So when you sand off the paint in the sanding stage, you're gonna sand down to this layer. So I chose white and you know it, it's fine. You can choose whatever colors you want to go on top of this. I just use painter's tape to mark out you know, where you're gonna want your stripes and your designs. Uh, I chose yellow and green. I, I don't even know why, really. I should have chose colors for the Patriots. Um, you know, I don't know. So just choose whatever you want. For the number part, I ended up printing off numbers in a font that I liked, and then I used a graphite pencil to put pencil marks all behind the numbers. That way, I'm going to trace the outline of the numbers here, and it's going to leave an impression under the paper when I take it off, and then I'm going to use a Sharpie to fill it in. Now is the fun part. Just sand until you get the desired finish that you like. And finally, just grab some extra rope you got laying around, feed it through the hole, tie it into a knot, and you got a boss buoy. This buoy came out wicked pisser. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. 